inside the guy. It's hard to plant. And it's hard to uproot uh, uh, the plant. A time to kill, a time to heal, and a time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, a time to gather them. A time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces. A time to seek, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. chance to have the last word, but <laughs> I guess there's a first for everything. When I was a kid, I would often joke with her that whenever it was time for her to go, that I was going to leave her with a Diet Pepsi, pack of cigarettes, and a phone. Because that was a huge part for my mom to her life when I was growing up. But I didn't think props would be good today. So I've prepared a few words. But as my mom, I think, would have wanted it, I'm going to keep it brief. My mom was a bright and beautiful soul. <laughs> lived a complicated life. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that it was always easy for her. Anyone who knew her understood this. But she was someone who cared deeply, even to a fault. The best example of this was that when she found out when she was 21 that she was going to be a single mom, she Oh. 
As I grew up, I was able to watch her take more time for herself. She eventually finished her education at Fresno City College. She was married when I was 12 to Trini. But my whole life, her identity was always wrapped up in being a mom and a friend. And later, when both of her parents were sick and Trini was sick, she became a caregiver, which was her new identity. She took this on many years later, also when she was with Bob. She cared for him and took care of him. Again, he would have to a fault. The reality is that she cared for those she loved. And the reality is, is that when she was at her best, she was the best. Today we celebrate her life. In my estimation, a life gone too soon. But as Mitch Alvin once said, death ends a life, not a relationship. Whether we knew her as Aunt Patty, as a friend, as a sister, as a mom, or as a nana, that relationship doesn't end today. Today we take the best of her and keep that with us as we continue to live, live the life that God has called us to while we keep Patty in our hearts for the rest of our days. We love you, Paul.
Thank <laughs> you.